Good morning and assalamu alaikum everyone. This is Sumaya Khalifa with the Islamic Speakers Bureau of Atlanta. We are so excited about today's inspiration with Imam Abdullah Jaber. Uh, Imam Abdullah, take it away. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning, everyone. I hope you are doing well. Uh, it was a blessing last Friday for me to be able to join you in this blessed moment and this blessed day. Um, the day of Friday is very special to the Muslim community. And again, I'm very thankful for you to allow me to come and join you uh, this morning. Uh, this morning, the, the point that I wanna share with you is about the way we speak and what we speak about and the vocabulary that we use. And I would like to call it uh, uh, and say, check your vocabulary, check the words that you utter. Um, as we all go through this difficulty, you know, a moment of uncertainty, uh, we need to focus on self-care. And this wonderful series of morning inspirations uh, done by the ISB, it helps us with our self-care. However, I, I want us to be honest. When we think about self-care, we have a habit that in times of adversity, in times of uncertainty, we tend to use a specific set of words. We tend to use a specific set of vocabulary. We say things like, man, I don't know what's happening, or you know, I'll never make it out of this. This COVID is going to really get me. You know, man, there's so much going on. My job, my family, my, my, my spouse, I can't get anything under control. It's too much. These are specific words. These are specific set of vocabulary that we use. Now, the words, the vocabulary that we use, it impacts us. It impacts our life. Okay. You see, the words impact our belief. The words we use, they impact our belief. And then the words and our belief combined, they become very tangible and they become the very reality that we live. One of my teachers, uh, may Allah have mercy on him, he used to say that words are like seeds. Uh, when you utter a word, you give life to them, right? Words are like seeds. Uh, when you say the word and when you utter these words, you give life to them, right? And so once you give life to them, these words, they, they can become your reality. If you continue to use these words, these very same words, that vocabulary can become your reality. And the unique thing in, in, in the Islamic tradition is that the human being is distinguished because of what God says in one of the chapters talking about the human being that we have honored the human being and made him distinct or made made him distinct because of rational speech so this ability that we have as the human being to speak rationally and use positive language and use language that's beneficial for ourselves and it helps our self-care this makes us very distinct and even from a purely scientific uh, point of view evolution uh, um, you know, the, rash, the rational and eloquent speech of the human being is an anomaly. It's actually a miracle in the, in the evolutionary world. And, and the Quran, is, it's, it tells us that every word that we utter is written down by an angel, right? So it's a very serious matter. I mean, every word as I'm speaking, every word that you're going to speak, is going to be written down, right? So it's a very serious matter when Allah says in the Quran in Surah Dariyat, May al fadu min qawlin illa ladayhi la aqibun atid, then no, do we not, we, we, not only do we, well, let, let, me, let me translate that, not, every time we speak or every time we utter a word, there is a scribe ready to write it. So everything that we say, everything that is being said, it's being written down. So the question is why? why? Why is there an angel? Why do we believe you know, uh, uh, that speech is so distinct? Why is it so, so, so important? Well, in Islam, speech is very particular and very important because it impacts your life directly, right? It impacts our life directly. And this is amazing because in the life of the messenger Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him and all of the messengers, you never see him you never come across a narration where he's negative, where his, his language is negative, where he, he's dis, there's, there's a sense of despondency in his word or in his vocabulary. There was this 
uh, idea that anytime you came across the messenger and you asked him what's happening and no matter what was happening, good or bad, the reply was always the same. Alhamdulillah ala kulli hal. You know, no matter what the conditions were, he was always grateful and always thankful to God, always in the state of gratitude. So the importance of vocabulary is that when you're using positive vocabulary and you're not giving into despondence and you're not giving in and letting the world overwhelm you, it reminds us, it reminds, it's a, rem it's a reminder for ourselves that it's not us that is in control. It's Allah who is in control. It's our creator who's in control. It's our sustainer who's in control. And if that is the case, then why be negative, right? Why be negative? And as, as people of faith, I think it's very important, especially for Muslims, that, you know, to understand that the very first chapter of the Quran is Alhamdulillah, Surah Fatiha. The idea that we have to recite this 17 times a day, no matter what we're going through, whether we're in COVID, out of COVID, whether I'm going through a financial crisis or I'm financially well off, really doesn't matter whether I'm going to a, a, a spiritual crisis or I'm spiritually well off, no matter what state we're in, we still have to say, Alhamdulillah, that all praise belongs to Allah, all praise belongs to my creator. And the idea is that we stay positive, that our vocabulary is it, it's positive, it's productive, it's something that builds us and not uh, uh, breaks us. So, you know, no matter what, it's very important for us to stay positive. And I'll end with this. The very famous verse in the Quran where, where God tells us, well, you know, that if you are thankful, I'll increase you. That if you're thankful, I'll increase you. And, you know, that verse is very well known to all of us. Uh, what's what's b beneficial to know is who said this verse and when this verse was said, who and when. This verse uh, is actually from the sermon of Moses. So when he was speaking to the Israelites, after they had come out of captivity from the grips of Pharaoh, it was at that time when they were in the middle of the desert. So from the grips of Pharaoh to the middle of the desert, and when he first addressed them, that's when he said, after they had gone through slavery, after they had gone through the difficulty, after they had gone through, you know, um, without any political, any social, any economic, any rights, after all of that hardship for generations, now when they're out of that captivity, this is when, this is when in the middle of the desert, Moses reminds Israelites that if you are thankful to God, then God will increase you. And again, it's a reminder for us to have an attitude of gratitude. We have to have an attitude of gratitude and that will help us in our vocabulary. That if you want to make it out of today and the darkness and the difficulty, when things get hard in this time of adversity, you have to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Allah is there. Your sustainer, our creator, our maintainer is there. We at times hurt ourselves because of the vocabulary that we use, because of the words that we use. So brothers and sisters, I wanna leave you with this today. Check yourself, check yourself and look at the vocabulary that you're using because your words, our words, shape our reality. And I thank you again for uh, sharing this morning uh, with me and allowing me to share these words with you. Whatever is good is from Allah and his messenger and whatever is a uh, mistake or, or misunderstanding that is from my shortcomings. Again, thank you so much for having me. Sister Sumeya, I'm very grateful to the ISB um, and I look forward to you seeing you next time. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Loved what you said. They're very practical pointers for all of us to use um, in terms of watch what we say because our words become our actions and it becomes our reality and God is there for us and um, we have to be thankful to him. And I love the message about uh, Prophet Moses, may peace be upon him, that if we are grateful to God, God will increase us. Uh, what a beautiful, beautiful message and very practical pointers. Uh, thank you so much, Imam Abdullah. Um, please be on the lookout uh, for the video on our YouTube channel. Please subscribe to it and check all the other inspirations there as well. Uh, we will leave you in peace and inshallah, we look forward to seeing you next week on Monday. Jazakumullah khair and you all have a great day. 
and a great weekend, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam.